Ever wondered why you wake up at night to urinate? It's a common occurrence, but have you ever stopped to think why? This nighttime routine, often shrugged off as nothing more than an inconvenience, is actually more prevalent than you might think. It's a universal experience shared by countless individuals around the world, regardless of age or gender. So, what's really going on when nature makes this midnight call? In this video, we'll delve into the biological reasons behind this nocturnal activity. To understand why we wake up to urinate, first, we need to understand the science behind our body's urination process. It all starts with our kidneys, two bean-shaped organs that filter out waste products from the blood, creating urine in the process. This urine then travels down two tubes called ureters and ends up in our bladder, a muscular sac that expands as it fills up with urine. During the day, our bodies follow a pretty straightforward system, drink, process, pee, repeat. But at night, things get a bit more complex. Our bodies produce a hormone called vasopressin, also known as the antidiuretic hormone. This hormone signals the kidneys to reduce the amount of urine they produce while we sleep, allowing us to get a full night's rest without needing to run to the bathroom. But here's the thing. Like any finely tuned system, even the slightest change can throw everything off balance. And in this case, the culprit is often age. As we get older, our bodies naturally produce less vasopressin. This means our kidneys don't get the message to slow down urine production at night as clearly as they once did. Consequently, we end up with a full bladder more frequently, which can wake us up in the middle of the night. Moreover, the bladder itself changes with age. It becomes less elastic and less capable of holding large amounts of urine. This means that even a smaller volume of urine can create the urge to urinate, which can also disturb our sleep. In addition, certain medical conditions can interfere with vasopressin production or bladder function, making nocturnal urination even more of a challenge. These include conditions like diabetes, bladder infections, and some neurological disorders. So, the decrease in vasopressin as we age can explain why this phenomenon is more common in older adults. While the decrease in vasopressin plays a major role, it's not the only factor. There are other variables at play that could be causing your midnight bathroom trips. One of these is fluid intake before bed. Drinking a lot of liquids, especially water, close to bedtime can fill your bladder faster, prompting you to wake up for a bathroom visit. Another factor to consider is your caffeine and alcohol consumption. Both of these substances are diuretics, meaning they increase urine production and can make you feel the need to go more often. So, that late-night cup of coffee or glass of wine might be the reason you're waking up in the wee hours. Certain medical conditions can also cause increased urination. For instance, people with diabetes often experience frequent urination as a symptom of their condition. Urinary tract infections or UTIs are another common culprit. These infections can irritate the bladder, leading to a feeling of urgency even when the bladder isn't full. Lastly, some medications can cause increased urine production. Diuretics, commonly used to treat high blood pressure, are a prime example. They work by helping your kidneys remove excess water and salt from your body, which can result in more trips to the bathroom. These factors, combined with the decrease in vasopressin, can lead to those annoying midnight bathroom trips. So next time you're up at night, consider what might be driving your need to pee. It could be more than just your body's natural rhythms at work. So waking up at night to urinate isn't just a nuisance. It's a complex interplay of various biological factors and lifestyle choices. Let's take a brief walk down memory lane to summarize our discussion. Firstly, we broke down the role of kidneys, these vital organs doing the heavy lifting when it comes to filtering waste and excess fluids from your body. We talked about vasopressin, the hormone controlling this process and how its levels drop at night leading to increased urine production. Then we delved into age-related changes. As we grow older, our body's ability to hold urine decreases, leading to more frequent nocturnal bathroom visits. Lastly, we discussed other contributing factors. These include lifestyle choices like excessive liquid intake before bed, certain medications and medical conditions like diabetes and urinary tract infections, which can all increase the need to urinate at night. Understanding these factors can help manage and potentially reduce the frequency of this nocturnal disruption. So next time you're woken up by the call, remember, it's your body just doing its job.